Okay, so the Bohr effect. So the Bohr effect is basically reducing oxygen's affinity to hemoglobin as a result of the pH in the system getting lower as a result of the presence of carbon dioxide. The way this works is that hemoglobin, or our red blood cells, have iron. That's why they're red. And oxygen has a high affinity to hemoglobin, meaning once it attaches to that molecule, it does not want to let go. And in order for it to let go so that the mitochondria can use it to create energy, the environment around it has to be so that it reduces oxygen's affinity to hemoglobin so that it can be released. Now that depends on there being the presence of carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide is a, an acidic compound. So when the acidity level is lower, or excuse me, when the acidity level is higher, when the pH is lower in the blood, oxygen is more likely to get released. Now, in that case, carbon dioxide grabs onto the same space on that blood, on that hemoglobin, and then is transported out to be released as waste. Now, this cycle is only optimized when we begin to become more and more tolerant of carbon dioxide in the system. One of the primary downsides of overbreathing or hyperventilation is that we offload more carbon dioxide than we might need to. And as a result, oxygen has a harder time getting released into the system. So if we're overbreathing, chemically, it makes it harder for us to process oxygen as a fuel source.